Advice, strip club with wife. Oh, Jesus. A Bildo. Uh, that's a good one. I've heard that one before, but uh, it's always nice to bring that one back. Me and my wife and six of our friends are planning a trip to Vegas early next year. Bars, strip clubs, the whole shebang. I'm 27 and my wife is 26. We've been married for four years. I was wondering if you and Nia or past girlfriends have gone to strip clubs together, and if so, what's the etiquette? Neither me or my wife have been to a strip club before. Obviously, I wouldn't mind taking in the sights, but also don't want to be a piece of shit. Oh, God, this has fucking train wreck written all over. I know this isn't exactly something on my wife's bucket list, but I don't think she'll hate it either. She's told me in the past she appreciates the female body. Not necessarily grinding on mine, though. Um, I think she'd probably enjoy it more if I wasn't there. LOL. Would love to know what you and Nia would have to say on the subject. Thanks. Well, Nia's not here. This is what I would say. Okay? Um, you need to stay as sober as humanly fucking possible, and you need to not indulge at all. I, what your indulgement should be is your wife enjoying the experience. That's what you do. All right? And uh, I would not get a fucking lap dance in front of my wife. I would not do that. Not that my wife, Neil wouldn't give a shit, but my wife is like ridiculously fucking cool. My wife is honestly one of the coolest females. She, she transcends her sex. The only reason why I say she's a cool female is because so many of them are fucking nightmares and they won't let you do anything. They won't let you have any fun or whatever. Like she just, you know, she you guys here on the podcast. She's that's not an act. She's that fucking cool and funny. But most people are not in that situation. So it's there's a few red flags in there. You're going with other couples like let the other couples get into the fights. Because somebody's going to go too fucking far. Somebody's going to get too drunk. Somebody's going to fuck up. And somebody's going to have that fucking thing brought up for the next 10 years in their fucking marriage. Because God knows that's what the fuck they do. So all your mission that night is, is to not be that guy. Strip clubs are not going anywhere. Okay? You can always go to one another night when she's not fucking there. Or if she actually ends up having a good time the second time. And just literally tell her, just say, listen, I wasn't going to get drunk and I wasn't going to do anything to embarrass you. Then she'll fucking respect you. So I would just say, go real easy on the booze there and, uh, you know, get your wife a fucking lap dance. That's what you do. And then just say, you know, and just say you're good. You're good. You know, and when your fucking guy friends are all trying to pressure you into doing something, just tell them to go, you know, just, yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool. Don't worry. I'm having a good time. Okay. And let them do all the dumb shit. Let them wake up the next day when you guys go to breakfast and be the ones that have to say, yeah, sorry, I got a little crazy last night. Or be the ones that are clearly just had a huge fight and are not talking during breakfast. You don't need that shit. All right? You don't need that shit. It's a very, um, all of that type of shit. There's like, when you're sitting there going, what are the rules? The rules are the rules that you and your wife come up with. And, um... The fact that your wife has never been to one is just all of the fucking makings of a shit show. So like I said, I, I'm not going to read it. I'm going to say this again because you're a young guy. Do not be the drunk guy. And I'm telling you, just make sure she has a good time. Ask her if she's all right. Ask her if this is cool, if she wants to get out of there. Just totally be attentive to her. And there's no way it can be a fucking problem. And then you can get on with your goddamn life and then fucking whatever. Some other time you go to a titty bar, maybe you bring her along. You know, she might fucking end up wanting to see you get a fucking lap dance. You're like, you're serious? Yeah. And then she'll be like, all right, which one do you want? You know, and then that's another thing that could be a fight. You know what I mean? You fucking pick some, you know, I don't, I don't, that's just one of those, it's just, it's just one of those things. I remember one time, um, there's this famous, um, strip club in Los Angeles called Jumbo's Clown Room. Okay. And it is just as creepy and disgusting as it sound. I don't think it's like that anymore. It, it's, it's way better now. But back in the day, it was literally 
like, you know, if I was a serial killer, like that would be my Starbucks. You know what I mean? Sit there with my laptop <laughs> in a chat room with other serial killers. I mean, it was a fucking disgusting place. So I had been there uh, maybe three times over the course of 20 years going out to uh, L.A. And it was always just a shady, shifty fucking place. So one time um, I was out with Nia and she brought up that she wanted to go to this fucking place. And I was just like, are you serious? You want to go to that place? I don't want to go to that place. I go, that place is, it's not a cool place, right? So she goes, come on, let's just go. So all right, let's fuck it, let's go. It's her fucking idea. So we ended up going there. And I sat over in the corner. I didn't get a lap dance or anything like that. But I think I've told this story before. I literally saw a stripper quit on stage that night. It was fucking amazing. Um, we walked in and there was like, one guy sitting up near the stage and there was like three other people up at the bar with their backs to the stage. So this woman comes out looking a little rough, you know, and uh, she starts doing a thing. She dances to one song. The song ends. Nobody claps. Okay. The guy who was sitting up near the stage was not there anymore. So now it it kind of becomes like a philosophical philosophical question. Like basically, if I'm in a strip club dancing, but nobody's watching me, am I technically still in show business, right? So basically what happened was, you know, no one was fucking paying attention. So she ends the first song, you know, you know, because I'm wanted, dead or alive. She slowly slides down the pole. And then the next song starts, and she's just laying there. And she's not dancing. She's not doing anything. And I'm going like, oh, my God. This is like watching a boxer, like, not answer the bell, right? And just quitting on the stool. And she just rolled over. And somehow she had her cell phone. And she just started checking, like, her fucking emails. And at that point, like, this... One of the barback ladies walked by, saw it, and laughed and said, that's awesome. And she just laid there for the rest of the song and didn't dance and gathered her shit, didn't take up any more of her clothes. And that's like she quit being a stripper. She just quit dancing for the night. And uh, I thought it was fucking awesome. Yeah, I just as a performer, I respected it. You know what I mean? It's like if you're a comedian, I'm doing my act and no one's listening, no one's paying attention. I'm just going to stop and I'm going to shit on the crowd. That's it. I'm not going to waste my time doing my material. So why should she take her bottoms off and show everybody the fucking world if they're not even going to look at it? Right? Um, so there you go. There's my fucking stripper story. But me and Nia never had a problem. I think I want to say I've gone to a couple. Have I been to a couple? Maybe one other with her. Um, I got to tell you, it's not fun. It's not fun to, to go to a titty bar with your wife. Or even with other women. It's just like everything. I used to do a bit in my act about that. Like when women started going to titty bars, they would always go like, you know, at some point they always say, this isn't as, this isn't as bad as I thought it was. And it isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. And the joke of my act was, yeah, because you're here. Leave and it'll get evil again. Um, That's one of the worst things ever that happened, that women started going to titty bars. You know what I mean? It's like, can't you just go to a fucking male one? Can't you go to the fucking Chippendales one and have some fucking goddamn dick swinging in your face? If you're a lesbian, then yeah, come on in. Have a good time, right? It's just like they just constantly, they just constantly have to be around us. It's fucking unbelievable. They think we're stupid. They think we do dumb shit, but they just can't get enough of doing every dumb fucking thing that we do. 